DJI Ronin M Assistant App Tuning. Search for the DJI Assistant app on the App Store or Google Play and then download and install it. You can also download and install the DJI Assistant app directly from the Ronin M page on DJI.com. Connecting the Ronin M to the DJI Assistant app. Switch on the Ronin M. Switch on the Bluetooth function on your mobile device and launch the DJI Assistant app. When using the DJI Assistant app for the first time, you will have to register for a DJI account and will need to set a username and password. If you've already registered for a DJI account for other DJI products, you can use your existing username and password. After completing registration, the app will start searching for the gimbal. Connect the app to the gimbal. If this is the first time you're connecting to the Ronin M, you will be asked to provide a name and password for your Ronin M. The connection is complete when the indicator light at the top left corner of the app screen shows a solid green and the blue indicator light next to it is blinking. Make sure the remote controller is turned off at this point. Select the viewer page to check the balance. If a particular motor axis indicates a power greater than 10, please rebalance the camera. The viewer allows you to view the motor's power, angle data, voltage, temperature, and the runtime of the Ronin M in real time. Basic settings of the DJI Assistant app. It is highly recommended that you perform a system calibration which resets the sensors to provide a level horizon. Go into the More tab in the app and select Calibrate System. System calibration is only required when the Ronin M goes out of calibration from bumps during transportation. After mounting a camera, select Auto-Tune Stability when first mounting a camera. Auto-Tune Stability provides an easy one-touch selection for automatic configuration of each axis. Auto-Tune Stability independently adjusts the parameters of each axis. To get the best results from an Auto-Tune, please ensure the gimbal is as stable as possible prior to starting the system calibration process. Auto-Tune Stability should be selected whenever a new camera configuration is mounted or whenever the lens or accessories are changed. It is normal for the Ronin M to vibrate during the Auto-Tune Stability process. The Ronin M is performing a self-check during this process. It increases stiffness to a maximum level and then analyzes vibrations. After it has this data, it then decreases the stiffness and other internal values to arrive at an optimal setting. If the Ronin M vibrates after the calibration of the auto-tune stability, please adjust the stiffness settings to a lower value. If you feel the stiffness setting is not enough, you can also manually adjust the stiffness of each axis after auto-tune. Make sure the axis is not vibrating by placing your hand on the camera to feel for vibrations. You can also do this by viewing the power figures in the viewer. You can also view the power and angle of the pan, tilt, and roll axis on the motor page. Smooth Track gives a single gimbal operator the ability to transform their pan, tilt, and roll movements on the gimbal into smooth, stabilized camera angle changes. Switch to Smooth Track mode on or off as required. The settings for the pan axis, tilt axis, and the roll axis can be independently adjusted. When the Smooth Track mode is enabled, the Ronin M can be steered on the selected axis by the gimbal's operator. When the Ronin M's top bar is steered left or right, the camera will move smoothly, following the user's input and stop at the appropriate angle. Unless you need to have roll smooth track control, it's recommended you turn it off during normal use. Otherwise, your horizon will appear unleveled in your footage. The axis speed will determine how fast the camera will travel while translating a certain movement. For example, the pan axis will determine how fast the camera will travel while translating a pan movement.
Deadband determines how much movement the gimbal will tolerate prior to translating the camera's movement. Pan Deadband determines how much movement the gimbal will tolerate prior to translating the camera's pan. Please do not set the deadband value to zero when shooting while you're moving. The deadband value should be set to zero only when held stationary. We highly recommend that you set the smooth track deadband of each axis to 5 or above during any kind of movement to achieve optimal performance. When you need to tilt or pan the camera very quickly, you can set the acceleration value. This will not affect your standard speed. The smooth track pan, tilt, and roll control speeds can be tested. Please ensure your camera build is not blocked before pressing the test button. Control settings. You can set the deadband for the thumb controller and the remote operator under the deadpan tab. Deadband determines how much you need to push the control sticks before the Ronin M moves. For example, when either the pan or tilt for the thumb controller or the remote controller in the dead band is set to 6, the Ronin M moves almost instantly when you move the control sticks. And when dead band is set to 50, for example, you have to move the control sticks considerably more for the Ronin M to start moving. You can set the maximum speed for the thumb controller and the remote operator under the maximum speed tab. This setting represents the maximum speed of the tilt and pan axis when the sticks on the remote controller are pushed all the way in any given direction. Under the smoothing function, you can control how smoothly the Ronin M decelerates in the pan or tilt axis when you let go of the control stick. When you increase smoothing, it will decelerate slower, and when you decrease smoothing, it will decelerate faster. For example, if smoothing is set to zero, the slowdown will be translated as an abrupt stop. If smoothing is increased, say, to 25 for example, the slowdown will be translated as a smooth and slow stop. Endpoint allows you to limit the movement of your Ronin M when operating in remote mode. When you set the endpoint values of the pan left and pan right to zero, you are removing the endpoints allowing you to control the Ronin M in a 360 degree pan. You can also test your selected endpoints using the test pan endpoints and test tilt endpoints functions. The Ronin M will pan left and right until it hits its pan endpoints and tilt up and down until it hits its tilt endpoints. Channels allows you to configure the settings for the joysticks on your remote controller. The channel indicator provides feedback during the configuration of the remote controller. The control channel can also be reversed. Pan, tilt, and roll can be reassigned to either of the remote controller sticks. Under the settings tab, you can set controller priority to the remote operator or thumb controller. For more information, please watch the thumb controller tutorial video. 
You can choose combined or independent settings under the pan slash tilt remote speed adjustment. When combined is selected, you can select three combined smooth track speed presets for pan, tilt, and roll. When independent is selected, you can separate the pan, tilt, and roll smooth track speed settings for each of your three presets. Speed toggle presets can preset smooth track speed for the remote operator. If the remote controller is turned on, the speed toggle presets for smooth track will take precedence over the assistant settings. Once the remote control is turned off, the smooth track settings in the assistant app will take over. The More function. Select More to view more functions. When shooting in a narrow space, you can choose to switch on or off the briefcase mode according to your needs. When briefcase mode is switched on, the Ronin M will be able to seamlessly transform into this mode. When briefcase mode is turned off, the Ronin M will allow the camera to smooth track in the roll axis when the Ronin M is tilted past the standard roll axis parameters. When the motor kill switch is activated, the Ronin M is still powered on, however, the motors will not be active. This will allow you to adjust the gimbal or the camera without having to turn it off completely. The Ronin M returns to normal status when the motor kill switch is deactivated. When the roll remote control is off, the roll axis movement cannot be controlled by the remote controller or the thumb controller. When the internal receiver is off, the gimbal cannot be controlled by the remote controller or the thumb controller, and it can only be controlled by other devices using a D-Bus or a light bridge connection. Enable silent mode can be used to reduce the level of noise created by the motors. You can activate silent mode to reduce the noise created by the motors, especially if you are filming where audio is necessary. However, if you activate silent mode while you are running, the gimbal may fail to respond precisely to the intense movements you make. Activating silent mode is not recommended when shooting in a moving scenario. Calibrate center can be used if the Ronin M's pan axis is off center. With this function, you can recalibrate so that the pan axis positions itself at dead center. Using a remote controller, position the pan axis at dead center, then select Calibrate Center. Tap Center again in the pop-up to confirm. Calibrate System is only used if you notice any kind of drift in any axis. For example, when the Ronin M goes out of calibration from bumps during transportation. To calibrate the system, place the Ronin M on the tuning stand and make sure it is completely steady. Let the calibration process complete before picking up the Ronin M. Restart the Ronin M after calibration is complete. Please refer to the Ronin M user manual for more settings. Thank you for watching.